Okay, guys. So today's notes, super fast. You better come ready to go tomorrow. All right, so we're going to be talking about equations of, and slopes of vertical and horizontal lines. It's always a problem. When I gave the pretest the other day, you guys really struggled with this. So we're going to do a five-minute quick video. All right? Why is it that it's so hard to remember how to write the equations of vertical and horizontal lines and how to identify their slopes? Make sure your objective states you will know how to write the equation and how to identify slopes of vertical and horizontal lines. Stop at any time, pause to write your stuff down. Okay, so why is it so hard to remember? It's not that hard to do. All right, so let's take a look at what I've got going on right here. My blue line is horizontal and my brown line is vertical. So if I want to figure out what the slope of this line is, all I have to do is realize two point, find two points on the line. So that point right there, this is 0, 3, and this is 1, 3. So if I plug that into my formula for slope, I'm going to do my y sub 2 minus my y sub 1 over my x sub 2 minus my x sub 1, and I get 0 over 1. Well, 0 divided by 1 is 0, so the slope of my horizontal line is always going to be 0. Every flat line has a slope of 0. Just remember, it takes 0 effort for you to walk a flat line, a horizontal line. It's easy to do. Your body does it, no problem. Now, let's talk about what its equation is, right? So we know it's got a slope of 0. Now, let's talk about the equation. So if I'm going to write the equation of this line, we've already determined that its slope is 0. So let's use one of the points. So 0, 3 was one of the points, and the slope we found was 0. So we have a point, I mean the slope, and we have a point. This point happens to be the y-intercept, but let's plug it into point slope anyway, all right? Um, so we're going to plug it into point slope. So y minus y sub 1 equals my slope times x minus x sub 1. And here's what I get. y minus 3 equals 0x, which is 0, times 0, times 0, 0. So I get y minus 3 equals 0. My x it disappeared. Weird. Notice that it doesn't touch my x-axis and it doesn't, it's not diagonal. Only diagonal lines have x's and y's in the equation. This is not diagonal. No x. doesn't even touch the x. We move the 3 over. y equals 3. This is the equation of the line. There's a faster way to do it. Every single point on this line, 0, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, What's not changing? That the y is always 3. Okay, why do kids always have trouble remembering that? I think because the x-axis goes left to right, and it's flat and horizontal. So when you see a horizontal line, you think, okay, so it's x equals. But the problem is, I don't know where on the x it's touching, because it's not. So you've got to remember that a horizontal line is going to be a y equals, and just find out where on the y-axis it's crossing. It's crossing at y equals 3 all of the time. That's a shortcut. Here's how you can prove it. Right. So that's the vertical line. Remember that for later. Now let's go back and do our horizontal line. So there's our zero slope. Let's see what our slope is for this guy. Okay. So we're going to take these two points right here. This is the point 3, 0, and this is the point 3, 1. We're going to find its uh, slope. So we're going to do the slope. So we're going to do 1 minus 0, change in y, and 3 minus 3, change in x. And here we have a problem, 1 over 0. You can't have 0 on the denominator. That If a 0 is under the line, it's undefined. So that means that this has an undefined slope. Now that's a problem. How am I going to plug that in? 
to my equation, my point slope equation, when I don't have a slope. So what am I going to do? Well, remember what I told you. This line right here is not touching the y-axis, and my slope is undefined. Here's what you'll notice. Zero, I'm sorry, not zero. This point right here is three, zero. This is three, one. This is three, negative five. What is not changing ever? The x. The equation of this line, a horror vertical line equation, doesn't have a y in it. Do you know why? Because it doesn't touch the y. Here's what I know. It rises and rises and rises, but it doesn't run. So it has rise, but it doesn't have run. And when it doesn't have run, it's undefined. And if it's vertical, it doesn't touch the y-axis. So it can't have a y in your equation if x equals 3. The only way, other way I can do it is have you write it in a chart like this. So these points, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3. Okay? So you're going to do, um, you could put there's zero y's in my, e I'm sorry, no, just erase that. Forget. My x is always 3. It's unchanging, so x has to be 3. And if it doesn't have, it, if it's not a slanted line, it's vertical or horizontal, it can't have both x and y in it. So you just got to remember, if it's vertical, it's y equals, and find out on the line where, where are you on the y, you're at y equals 3. If it's vertical, horizontal y equals, if it's vertical, x equals, find out where it crosses the x-axis, there you have it. That's your equation, right? So you try it really fast. Write down what's the slope of the gray line, vertical, slope of the vertical, and what's its equation, and slope of the horizontal. So slope and equation of your vertical and your horizontal. Ready, set, go. Stop me if you don't want me to tell you the answer, press stop, because I'm going to keep going. All right, remember vertical lines. They have rise, but they have no run. So this is rising one, but it's not going left or right. It's not slanting. So that's a zero is, I mean, that's an undefined, undefined slope, okay? And what is unchanging is where this line is crossing the x axis. It's crossing the x. It's not crossing the y, so it's not going to have a y in it, okay? So when it's x equals, and what's unchanging here? Oh, gosh, it's this line over here. Sorry, gray line. That's the axis. Here it is. X equals negative 4 and a half. There it is. Sorry about that. Brown line. Gray line. Gray line. All right. Horizontal. Ready? You got no rise. It's not going up or down. It's just running. Zero divided by anything is a zero slope. Okay? Now, it doesn't touch the x-axis at all, so it doesn't have an x in it. It just has a y. The y is what? That y at negative 2. All of these points are y is negative 2, so there's your equation. y equals negative 2. All right? So let's recap really quick. If it's flat, horizontal, zero effort to walk, a zero slope. If it's vertical, imagine trying to walk straight up this vertical line. It's impossible, so your slope is undefined, okay? Got it? This is an x equals because it doesn't touch the y-axis, so where is it on the x? It's negative 4 and a half. That's your equation. Vertical, horizontal line doesn't touch the x-axis, only touches the y, so y equals negative 2. One thing I do want to point out before we go to the next page and then we finish and close this up, it is totally possible, 
totally possible for the line to be on your axis. So if I have a vertical line on the y-axis right here, what's my slope? Undefined, exactly. And what's my y, my, my um, equation? Remember, it's full on the y-intercept, so it is the y-intercept, but it's intersecting the x only. So it's x equals, and here, this is 1 and this is negative 1, this is x equals 0. And it would be the same if I was doing this line here. That would be y equals 0. It intercepts the y only. It is the x. So sometimes you'll see that. So make sure you put that away. All right, really quick. What are the slopes? Imagine what your x is. Just mark them, horizontal or vertical. Is this a horizontal or vertical line? Vertical. What's my slope? Undefined. Vertical or horizontal line? Horizontal. Slope, zero. Okay? Vertical or horizontal? Vertical. Zero slope. Sorry. Yes. Zero. That's undefined slope. I am so sorry. Undefined. Up and down is undefined. Horizontal or vertical? Zero slope. Zero effort. Zero effort. Unpossible. Undefined. What about this one? Do you see a Y? X equals nine. Undefined. Vertical through x equals 9. Okay? 0. y equals negative 8. So I go to negative 8 on the y and I draw a horizontal line. It's easy to do, okay? That's all I got. Make sure you can answer the questions. See you tomorrow.